Okay. Hey, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay, we have to do it. Sorry, again, we have to do it in English, right? Yeah, no worries. No worries. Okay. I got like, uh, how, how do you call it? Azul Zuket? I don't know, yeah. Well, refugee. I, I, got a, I got a refugee from Jamaica in my house right now, so I need to talk English all day. So I'm good. Let's do this in English, man. Fuck yeah. Okay, good, man. Welcome. Good morning. In the, good morning. I Prospect Radio, Akira Stinky Tofu Show. Yeah, it should be have a name, so, but at the end, you ever eat stinky tofu? If I, if I eat every, uh, yeah, man, I eat some stinky tofu, the, the tofu. Well, I, actually, I think all tofu stink, so, yeah. <laughs> all right, awesome, man. Well, welcome, uh, Kevin. Thanks. Kevin, a.k.a. Specker. Yes. A.k.a. DJ, producer, owner of the world's famous, your name is? Jeez and Jens, Jeez and Jens, yes. Jeez, is it about gangsters or gentlemen? Gangst, Jeez and Jens is gangsters and gentlemen. Like, <laughs> a gentleman can be a gangster and a gangster can be a gentleman, right? And it was more like we, we invite all kinds of people. We invite gangsters, we invite gentlemen, we invite housewives, we invite porn stars, uh, everything. Every, everybody's welcome at our show. Awesome, man. Okay, yeah. we'll, we'll, go away. we'll go back to that uh, later in the show. Yeah. Okay, Kevin, maybe for the audience didn't know, But you and me have shared something in common, right? We yes. are same. We live the same hood. Yeah, man. If you got the hood. Yeah. Old and younger. Okay, honestly, like me and Kevin, we live really near one block away in the, our childhood, man. Actually, yeah. I was doing hardcore, but he was doing house music in the beginning, right? Well, uh, in, in the beginning, uh, I was doing hardcore as well. I started with hardcore. Yeah. Actually, I started as an MC uh, because... Uh, uh, I had a group group of friends, and uh, they, they 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 buy some turntables and some records and shit, and they're looking for a venue. And yeah, I I I knew like all the people in in Vlaardingen in, in in VOP for one, and so they they they, they came to me. Yo, spec, we need a small venue to do our first party and shit. Can you help us out? I said, yeah, sure. I know some guys. So we did, did it like in a in a little small bar uh, next to the Hoofdvliet of the Parallelweg. <laughs> you know it? Yeah, it's two minutes yeah. away. Yeah, man. So, uh, we, so, and they, they say, yeah, we need like a, a MC. Maybe you can do that for us. And I was like, oh, yeah, well, what the fuck is that? Yeah, and then you <laughs> do some, some rhymes and some things and you uh, introduce us. I said, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, let's do this. So I hang out with those guys, like practicing and writing some, uh, some rhymes and shit to, to, uh, for, for, before the drops and everything, right? And then I, I thought, like, let me try this DJing as well, man. It's cool. And like really fast, I, I pick it up and I liked it. And yeah, so that's how we started. Okay. And when I when I came to you in the in, in, in the Midtown Records, that was, uh, yeah, that was the, the house period because I did uh, the hardcore thing for a long time. But I thought, <laughs> no, I need to make some serious money with this. So I had the stupid <laughs> idea to play some house music and shit. It was terrible. No, it's cool, man. But anyway, yeah, it's, it's really awesome because... Uh, People don't know you now in these days in Holland, like, you know, he's I think, like, the CEO of, of, of G's and Jens. Yeah, yeah. But man, your history is crazy, man. It should be revealed, right? In this Tinky Tofu show, man. Let's do this. All right. I think you also, yeah, we have to we go back and forth, right? You're also mm -hmm. behind, uh, you're also a hip hop producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in, yeah. After not now, uh, maybe, but now not because you're active with, uh, you know, the, the tattoo stuff, but. That's a crazy story, man. People, yeah. a lot of people don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, when, when I was doing this, those, those house productions and, and, and parties, and so, and uh, I meet a guy also from Vlaardingen. Uh, uh, back then, he, he was by the name of Mini Simon, and now people can in the Netherlands can know him uh, from The Licked, uh, Jordi from The Licked, and uh, I made his beats for uh, for Ike, also from Vlaardingen, right? Swagger yeah. Jongens Records. Yeah. And we don't we don't talk about that part because uh, we have more listeners, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So we keep that part away, like yeah, yeah, let's do that. you know, so we cut the, that off. <laughs> but that, that project with him they didn't work out in the end, and so Ike came to me and said, "Yo, listen up, I got a new guy. Uh, well, it's not a new guy; it's a crazy guy, and he want to do a project with us. And I think you should do the productions of that. And that was Stain. Right. Um, and so yeah, in that way, I started with Stain, and that was like an amazing journey, man. Stain is a is, is another guy, man. You know him as well, right? Yeah, sure, we know him. We will come back to that. But yeah, but funny thing, 
I think Stain is already established right in Holland. He's a Dutch. Yeah, yeah. He's one of the notorious Dutch rapper for the, the the audience not living in Holland. Stain. Yeah. I don't know how do you pronounce Stain in in English. Stone. Brick. Stone. 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 Brick. Okay, yeah. the rapper Brick, aka Stain. Yeah. Uh, he's one of the notorious rappers in Holland. Yeah. Um, if people know from the prospect, there's a sample called. Um, I did a release with drugs called uh, Extreme, uh, you know, Extreme is what we are. Exactly. And then Stain is saying, like, uh, I don't know about Prospect, but only it's pa 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 hard, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we cannot curse in this show, it's good to know. Because we can, we can curse, that. we can yeah, curse yeah. it, of course, man. But, you know, ex uh, Prospect Extreme is what we are. I use yeah. a sample of Stain. Actually, I, I stole the sample from the after movie of yeah. Prospect XL. So I didn't ever ask uh, Stay about permission. I said, fuck it, man. This prospect, you did it already for prospects. So I can use it. Exactly. Anyway, it was funny thing. And you guys did a, did a, did some shows on Prospects Excel. Yeah. And you guys fucking played a track live. Yeah. yeah, because I, like, I, I, I was really into the, to, to the, to the scene, uh, what's going on back then. And I, and I was the one that, that showed Stain, like, listen up. I know this guy and he did a record and he used your sample and let, let's, let's close our shows with this because we were doing the prospect show and, we need some more, <laughs> some more body into it. So let's use this track uh, to close up our shows. And so every time we did the prospect show, we closed with this track, man. Yeah, and and, and it goes mental on the on the floor. Fuck yeah! Mutual uh, respect, man. But okay, what the fuck happened a couple of years ago on the show, man? I was downstairs in the basement. Yeah. You guys heating it up. Really, card was crazy. The kids came on the stage and shit. And suddenly, okay. fucking yeah. Yeah, I have to reveal it, man. It's Prospect Radio, so we have some connection about it. They won't cut it out anyway. <laughs> so, but anyway, what happened? What the fuck happens? I tell the, the well, truth. Yeah, what, what it was, like, um, like after I did the first show uh, for Stain on Prospect, because he did a couple before uh, I was working with him, but when, when I was working with him and we did the Prospect shows, that was like, uh, for me, it was like uh, uh, home, uh, the home match, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and... Um, so we did it, and but the, the, at, at the first show, I already knew that there's too much people in this small uh, area on, on the party. So I talked uh, with, with with Garrett as well. I said, "Yo, maybe next time when you're gonna book us, give us, uh, uh, the, put us in a like bigger area because there's so much people who want to check us, and our shows are not that long. It's like like 35, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, book us in in, in in a larger stage because because of the people. And so we did the next show, and he didn't. He put us again in the backstage. Garrett was not smart because everybody was there. It was packed. The good, nobody can get in. So what happened is that, like, yeah, when we do a show, we do a show good, man, and we rock that shit. We like, we, we like to, 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 to have fun with the crowd and get them close and, and, and make a party out of it, right? So what happened is that yeah, everybody wants to go on the front and they were like pushing the, the DJ booth and we were like, fuck it, fuck yeah, man, let's party. But the security, what, 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 there was a security group hired. I think that was the first time uh, they hired them, and they were like really fucking aggressive. And like already when I when I entered the venue to to do yeah. the show, they were like like searching me for like four times and shit. I said, "Come on, man, I'm I'm gonna play here. I'm gonna have Come fun." On, I will I will search you ten times if I see you, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, spec life matters too, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have nothing to matter, man. <laughs> let me see. Let me adjust the camera a little. Yeah, no, you can see. No, man. Honestly, I, I truly understand it. Okay, yeah, but yeah, honestly, this is true. What happened, you know? And yeah, I'm, but yeah, this, 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 the security guys, uh, they cut us uh, in the middle of our show. They cut us off and like, mm -hmm. oh, yo, these people need to need to go back. Okay, we respect that. We we take a little short break. We we didn't like it, but we respect it. So everybody was a little to the back, and we we start over again. And like five minutes, the security cut us again. And then we were like, fuck this shit, man. It's, it's not okay to, 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 to stop our shows I, like I, two I, times. I, I was on the side, man. I was watching like, I was watching like, whoa, this crazy show, man. Because obviously the kids went on the stage and ramped it up. Fuck but yeah. at the end, you know, yeah, maybe it's in the funk future, rock, man. man. Come yeah, on, Yeah, but man. it's a part of, the, part of the hardcore movement, right? This exactly. Is what, this is extreme what we are, what you guys are, right? So, exactly. Exactly. No, but that's good, man. Okay, next other thing. Yeah. But go back. You born in Flanagan? Um, I'm actually I, I I'm I'm gonna reveal this on your show only. Okay. I'm actually born in Schiedam. <laughs> oh my God, man! Yeah. I, I, I got 
at the end, you know, I do some questions about okay. what do you think about this and that. Yeah, yeah. And I will, of course, uh, ask you uh, flooding or skidom. So you have to 40 minutes to think about it. But anyway. It's not that hard. It's not okay. that hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, some people get really uh, ecstatic, uh, you know. I don't give a fuck about that. Fuck you. <laughs> but you were, you were in Schiedam. All right. This is yeah, a, less yeah. a, it's a small city uh, next to Vlaardingen. Yeah. Course, like Schiedam a, is bigger, but, but on the map, it doesn't count, right? <laughs> it's, not, it's not even on the map. If you if you search it on Google Maps, it's not there. It's like Palestina right now. Yeah, well, it's, not there. it's baptized by Rotterdam, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, a, it's like a small alley of Rotterdam where you can piss and shit. <laughs> All right, man. I hope we have no uh, Schiedam listeners. But anyway, I love you, you guys. Can, you you know. can complain my prospect anyway. So good, man. But uh, last time, yes. uh, a month ago, you did a show on my friends, uh, other guys of Hong Kong violence. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. the stupid Chinese guy, you know. Uh, you know, I say yeah. myself, stupid Hong Kong guy. You yeah. did a stream. Uh, you, what do you did, man? You did crazy stuff. You did. You launched a T-shirt or whatever. Tell me yeah, more about we, that. Yeah, we. Um, we we, uh, we released uh, like like some shirts and a sweater and some caps and shit, and we did it together. It was a really cool collaboration. And and and, and for uh, revealing the the line, we did a live stream uh, at Tom's place in Sealand. Fuck yes, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. a nice guy, man. Yeah, Tom, shout out to you. You're a great guy. And uh, so yeah, we we played some hip hop in the beginning and have some fun and after that we did some some crazy mixing shit man because i still got it man i still got it man you was on fire g <laughs> and, and, and also, i like the, the hip-hop in the introduction you started shit you know it's crazy yeah yeah i thought i thought we, we do we do a little of both like in the beginning we play some tunes that we that we play a lot in the shop mm -hmm. because uh, yeah g's and gents we really like like uh like 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 hip-hop beats man like and, and all Kinds of ways, sub sub genres and shit. We like it all, and we play that. And so I, I I thought it was cool to do a little of that in the beginning and have some fun with the listeners. And after that, yeah, do some Hong Kong violence shit, right? <laughs> oh, man, I see uh, Easy at the back. Yeah, man. I can uh, I can give you a little tour if you like. I, I, I see two pack also. Yeah, let's go. The United. The iPad, right? We can we can walk. Yeah, I've got, of course the audios won't see anyway shit because audio, but I can translate it. I see. Uh, Biggie. Crazy. Who's the guy? Yeah. Who's the guy? This is Biggie, man. Oh, Biggie. Yeah, he's not that big there. <laughs> no, no, he's on the scene, right? <laughs> he's skinny. He's skinny. Let me see. And right. um, we got some. We got my old dogs. They go to heaven, and here is fuck. Easy. Two pack. Fuck. Yeah, I see two pack. All right. Easy. Easy. Yeah, it's my little heaven on the ceiling, right? So uh, my my old dogs that died and some legends and over here it's like a really important guy in the tattoo scene and in the piercing scene from uh, from la all uh, right this is the mr tricks and uh yeah he got shot like 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 two three weeks before i opened the shop and uh really the ceiling wasn't finished so i said yeah mr tricks need to be on it as well so my friend did it for me okay but it's quite legendary because you now still in the old building right you moved yeah. out to a new one right yeah i so think i think think when you when, when this is coming out we are in the new building man yeah, that's why I hurry up to do the show with you because yeah. I try to uh, get this a little bit in time. So when all the listeners, when you're in Holland, when you're when the raving is still going on, you're a couple of days in Holland, you should go grab a crazy G's Jens tattoo. Yeah, and man. if you tell if you tell Specker, yeah, I was listening to the podcast, think it's helpful. Uh, the Kira, you, uh, I get special treatment. So, but of course, what, man. what special treatment is, I don't know. But uh, you can choose some uh, some white famous. Uh, Powder from Dutch powder or some pills. Yeah, yeah, I got that. I got that. Or, or a I, big tattoo or some Coca-Cola drinks. So anyway, yeah, you, can, you can get a tattoo and I give you some pills that you can relax and that you can yeah. like, like your jaw. You can little do a little ice skating on your jaw and shit while you're getting tattooed. I got you, man. I take care of you. No worries, man. <laughs> okay. Of course, man. Come because to Jesus and Jens, Delft Gau. We got you. Delft Gau. You know this in Dutch? You just go to the Schiphol. You go grab a taxi and say Jesus and Jens, Delft Gau. But make a but make an appointment before, right? You still you were so busy, right? Yeah, yeah. We have a lot of uh, a lot of people that come at us. So if you book your tickets to Holland to come visit G's and Gents, tell me on time. I make sure there's a lot of space for you, and we can do this. Of course, man. Easy. Okay, you show the the wall uh, paintings, right? Uh, you have uh, connections uh, outside Holland with the tattoo scene, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, how I, uh, do you get uh, involved with, with those guys, you know? Because it's, it's a really inner circle, I think, you know, when you're into it. 
Yeah, it is. It is. It's it's it's, it's actually a, not that big world, and, and, and especially in the in the Netherlands, it's like a really small circle, and that's why I, I travel a lot. Uh, I like to go to uh, to, uh, to to California. I have a lot of friends there, and uh, I go to like Mexico. I got also a lot of a lot of guys there, Russia, and uh, it's like that because uh, I'm always like really uh, hostile with them and take them in my house or, or, or fix an apartment for them when they come working at my shop. Like, and, and, and because of that, I can travel all over the world and there's always a, a, a bed or a couch or a garage where I can chill. A with couch, them. yeah. Of course. Yeah, man. <laughs> And in and, and, and that way, you, you can see a lot of this amazing world, man. And that's, that, that's, that's amazing. That, that, that is, that's one of the biggest things I like uh, of being in the tattoo world. It's one big family worldwide. And yeah, man, it's amazing. I, I think you know how, they, how it is with the music as well. You travel oh, the, a lot as well. I, I, I see similarities, man. The music, the yeah. reason why I can do this, honestly, it's not about that. Yeah, we start, everybody like you, we start, of course, we like it, you know. And yeah. second, save the money, right? Money, money is a, is another thing. Like like money yeah, is easy, but it's yeah, the experience and, and yeah, and the then, travel, then. the food. Exactly. Man, when I told the many interviews, whatever. When I go out to DJ in other country, I like to travel more sometimes with the DJs, with the friends, the, the chats, yeah. you know, the fun. And then of course the gig is important, but you cannot prepare for the gig. You know, sometimes it sucks. It sucks, you know. Exactly. Exactly. But again, you know, yeah, this also maybe share the similarities. Okay, yeah, but it's, it's, yeah, but the tattoo things like um. I don't have tattoos, you know, mm -hmm. but I know a lot of guys like uh, of Garrett and Richard, they're full of tattoos, man. Yeah. You. So, uh, you, you have you ever talked with them so, about tattoos? You share? Um, tattoos Garrett actually got tattooed at my shop as well, yeah. All right. Yeah, and we did uh, a... Did Hopeful find his logo on his back or not? No, no, no. Ah, did, did, did he got one? Uh, no, no, of course he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> we need to give him one, man. We no, I him think him he one. will do a fish and rice tattoo. So, Garrett, if you want a fish and rice tattoo, I will pay. I, you don't need to pay. It's on me, man. Let's go. Oh, you see, Let's do a fish and rice. You just make an appointment, man. Fuck and it's yeah. funny. But, yeah, but, uh, you know, I don't have tattoos, but I see a lot of guys have tattoos and really fascinate me. Even Hellfish has one. Mm -hmm. I might do one in the future, but I'm a little bit like, uh, I don't know what. Maybe I do a, a logo of, uh, I don't know, whatever. We got that's you. Not, that's not a story, but you know where I'm going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to the one in Flying. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do know. Oh, well, I got to I gotta ask you about that, man, uh, okay. later on the show. Okay. okay. This this tattoo thing. Like, of course, you're at the end. You know, people your yeah, face tattoos. Thing. I have to lose this question, but this asked you many, many times. You know. Yeah, yeah. But at the end, end, I see you now. I'm talking already 20 minutes with you. It's fascinating. You have all these tattoos in your face, right? Mm -hmm. so, but everything has a meaning, right? You're not just, just doing like, oh, I do like this because I like it. You know, it just has a, no. it just has a uh, something behind it, right? Well, it, it, it's a mix of uh, like, like like tattoos that, that have actually uh, really important meanings for me. And, and and like, yeah, fuck yeah. I think they fucking look, look, look dope. Because that, that that's what, what, what tat tattoos actually needs to be. It needs to give you a feeling of, fuck yeah, man. This is, that, that, that makes me, that gives me a good feeling. That represents me, right? Same like like a lot of people, yeah, it's 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 it, it, it uh, shows your 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 way of life, your your styles, um, your interests, uh, the ones you love, the ones you remember. It's 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 it, it, it's really wide, and that's also uh, the thing with me. Not every every tattoo that I have on my body or actually on my face has a meaning. Uh, the biggest the biggest reason I did it is because it gives me a really good feeling, and and that's the important thing about it. And I, I, I re I'm, I'm really happy that 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 uh, that the the how do I say this? Uh, it's it's more accepted. Like people uh, aren't that afraid anymore. Like 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 if you like like ten years ago, if if I walk like this on the street, mm -hmm. people were afraid of me, think I'm a criminal or, or whatever. I'm and afraid now of you also. Huh? When I see you flying, I'm really afraid. Maybe my mom will be afraid of you, man. Honestly. Yeah, of course, of course. But that's the cool <laughs> thing. Like like. Uh, people ask me a lot, right? Uh, okay, so th don't you regret to have the tattoos on your face because people uh, would think things about you? But I can I can explain you one thing. Like in a business meeting, right? When I come in, people will think from holy fuck, who the fuck is this guy? So the expectation level is really low. Yes. So normally, when when you come in, they think, oh, this is a, a, a Chinese guy, so he's, he must be smart and uh, blah blah blah, right? <laughs> so your expectation level is a little higher. And then you start talking and it get a little low and you go, ah, mm, it's All not right, that smart. Yeah. 
right? That's true, yeah. So, but my expectation <laughs> level is really low. So I start talking, the people think, oh shit, this guy is actually not a dumb guy. He got something to say and he got some experience. And so instead of my expectation level go like, like, like in the middle, let's go a little higher. So it can do much more. So it works in my benefits. You can do you can do you can do two things. You can you can like uh, always like crying about it. Uh, I get no chances in world because of my tattoos. Or you can work with it, M- make it your own. And that's what I do, man. I'm not a sad guy okay. because I have tattoos. I do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, no, it's totally sad, man. So any every tattoo owners have us. You see it, man. Spec says what it is. West side. Like, it's, you gain more, man, than you lose. Anyway, after the show, I might have made, made an appointment with uh, the guys in Flying man, because I, <laughs> I get the feeling what? I have to do with it. <laughs> the one, the one in the Westwijk, or not? Uh, don't say that. I, I don't think they listen. I don't think probably they. not. Better. But, uh, but uh, yeah, but that's a crazy story. Okay, but you see about lifestyle. But I see you always on Instagram, yeah. flexing your, your your lifestyle, man. You like good brands, the yeah, G man. brands. We have well, the comments, right? Yeah, no, but yeah, even even the people audience don't see the video yet, but I see something blinking in my left corner every time when you move your hands what? or your wrist. Oh man, but uh, you like this stuff, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, tell me more about your oh. passion. Man. Oh my god, man! Oh. Eyes of it, man. Ah, uh, oh, so but anyway, in your face, man. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with this, uh, you know, uh, brand shit, hype shit, man? You like it? Um, Is it passion? Yeah. Of course, man. I fucking love it. But like, like today, I'm a little, little overdressed because I got like, I, I, I get a, a bunch of designers and just throw it on myself, and that, and that's, I don't like because now I wear like Palm Angel sweaters, uh, Valentino shorts Ooh. with Balenciaga shoes. All right, it's man. Much. It's too okay. much. Show me your shoes, man. People have All to right. see this. Let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. This is like fucking clomper, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> And then, then we wear some Valentino shorts with it, so yeah. All Take right, yeah, yeah. Shall I do a little tour for you? Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm sure I have to put this video sooner or later on also on YouTube, man. So on Fuck yeah, let's do this, man. Okay, cool, man. Now, I, I, because I liked it, because if, if people think about the specker and uh, they see the tattoo guy, but also, it's also the, not alone the tattoo, it's also the whole thing, how you talk, how you walk, you know. It's what a lifestyle. Yeah. Okay, but let's see one thing. I did a little bit of research on you, the person Specker. Okay. Why are you fucking smoking, man? You're not vaping? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you see, <laughs> see? Unexpected, yeah. man. What the fuck are you doing now? Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, like, I was, like, quitting smoking and shit because I, when I, when I smoke, I smoke a lot. Like, this is, this is big box. I open it this morning. It's already had help done. I smoke too much when I smoke. But... Yeah, I love it. I love it. I think Marlboro needs to sponsor me, man. Fuck yeah, man. Come you see, on, Marlboro, man. listen to this Prospect Radio shit, man. I got the most influential guy for you guys, man. Just smoke. smoke Just smoke, man. Of course we die. So smoke. What the fuck you want, right? Yesterday I was with a, with, a, with a friend of mine and his grandma was there. She was like 91 years old. Mm-hmm. Look fucking amazing. 91 years old. That amazing. I said, what is, your, what is your secret? She said, yeah, I smoke a pack of cigarettes and two sabukas every night. I said, fuck yeah, man, I'm going to do that as well. Yeah, man, 90 years old, yeah, 91 years old, looking amazing. And, oh, love this. Yeah, man, smoke. Okay, but do, can you do tattoos yourself? Yeah, yeah, actually, I, I, I did it myself. I started... Oh, the three dots. Oh, the yeah? three dots, three dots. Yeah, three dots, like little swastikas, <laughs> that kind of things. <laughs> <Beep. laughs> fuck yeah, it's the stinky tofu show, man. We can say whatever the yeah, fuck we want. Man. Come on, man. If they censor it, I will stop the show. So, Garrett, if you censor something, I will stop the fucking show, G. <laughs> you know it. Come on. I, I, was, I was in the Prospect Radio show uh, two times. Do a set there. Have some interviews. And the, and the talk they have there. Oh, this is like a kid's show right now. Honestly, I, you know, I have a little respect. With what I did many, many shows with Garrett, but at the end, man, we talk like crazy. If people listen to it, you know, there was some point uh, we took off the, the interviews, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it kind of went off the head, man. But anyway, yeah, yeah it's, it's you know, people are sensitive these days, you know. With the it, it's true, it's true. But it's I prefer more hashtag do whatever you want, man, and don't care about all this, man. Yeah, don't go too crazy, but have some fun, man. That's it. That's important. It's, it, it, 
Like life is so fucking short. And if you if you spend all life like bothering about what other people saying or thinking, fuck that man. Yeah, you're, it's sad. you're better than that, man. It's said if you waste too much time on the hashtags. Exactly. So anyway, exactly. let's keep positive. But okay, back to your tattoo. You you do also crazy designs, you know, like all those guys or what's your style? Uh what is my style or from the shop? Uh, your the signature. My style. Well, I I I started like uh 22, 23 years uh, yeah, ago. I was like a, a, I was a little guy, 15 years old. I was in the second year of my high school and I, I came in the, in the tattoo shop for the first time and I was instant in love, man. I thought, what the fuck, the sounds, the smell, the guys who were there. I thought, this is my shit, man. And like two weeks, two weeks later, I quit school. I didn't have any degree, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I quit school and I started learning in the tattoo shop. And, and, and since that day, I, I never stopped it. And after 15 years tattooing myself, I was like done because... Uh, of, of course, I can do a proper tattoo, but like designing wise and and, 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 and and specializing, guys nowadays are way better than the old school guys. So then I thought that that's the concept of G's and Gents is like, all right, I quit tattooing myself, but I have a lot of knowledge and I know where I want to go because of my traveling as well. And so because of that, I, I, I was searching for like really high hitters, talents to 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 build up and make great artists out of them. And so now nowadays I'm more like the manager. Um, I, uh, I, I, I promote those guys. I, I, I work on their Instagrams and that's, that, that kind of shit. Make from uh, tattooers to like really artists. And that's my job right now. And, awesome. and, and, and I love it, man. I love it. Um, honestly, I see you grow. Only I follow you for a long time. Yeah. Like G's and Gent, people say, ah, maybe, you know, it's just Becker, just talk too much, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, well, this is good, man. When yeah. people underestimate you, it's the best thing, you know. Of course, man. Of course, man. But do you, do, so how do you scout your talent, man? Because not everyone can make it to the G's and Gent, right? No, no, no. You need to be, you, 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 need, you, you need to have something, like, it's okay. If the money? Can I have money? Can I work on your shop? Of course, man. I know you have money. You you, you definitely can work at my shop. For like right. a small 3000 a month, you can work at my shop, man. Yeah, God, but man. I do the cleaning. I do, tough, I do some fish and rice. Maybe I can do the meals or the yeah, yeah, big perfect. Rice, man. At the new shop, we have actually a big bar. We do some catering, some lunch, some drinks. You, you will be perfect for that, man. All right, man. So, yeah, I have some hope because now the COVID-19 still going on we we miss a lot of gigs i might you know do an interview at your your shop here to work there man yeah let's, so let's do that, wait man. wait yeah when you guys go to just uh, just tattoos you see akira behind the you know the yeah, the bar the bar the food you know i make some tequilas for you guys okay. and, uh, and maybe i play some house tunes you know because uh, hardcore doesn't exist anymore it's, no, it's, dead. It's, it's dead you know so we admit all the guys it's it's dead man yeah but I anyway think... no it's crazy man but the funny thing you do the shop removing in the most crazy times. Yeah, right? man. Yeah. It was planned or it was, I, you don't have a choice. You have to do it now or you can do no, it. No, I, 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 I do have a choice. But um, because of the, 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 the COVID uh, period, uh, I had a lot of time, right? Uh, we, we need to close our shop as well. And like a lot of people ask me, from, yo, is it not a problem? Like, uh, are, are you going to be bankrupt? I, like one advice to every entrepreneur if you start a business, save some money, man. Don't spend it all on designer, on Balenciagas. Save some as well. Like right? Specker does. <laughs> like me, I save a lot, man. So that that that's big. So I I had some I had some some leverage, right? Some body, so I can do. Uh, I, and, and because of the COVID, I have a lot of time to think and to 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 plan. And so I think, okay, all right, because I have this time, it's it, it's it's now it's the time to make G's and Gents 2.0. So I started, I organized it, um, I have a lot of black money, so I thought, yeah, fuck yeah, let's do it. What do you say, black? <laughs> okay, uh, uh, dark money. <laughs> right, yeah, that's, that's a better name, I think. Right? Yeah, right, we cannot say that anymore, that's why. Yeah. So, um, no, that's bullshit. So, uh, in that time, I, 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 I used it. too offended, we make jokes, you know. It's, yeah, it's I love you all, man. It's I an entertainment you. program, it's not a serious, you know, CNN, whatever. <laughs> My boyfriend is coming, like, in... Yeah, he can he can get in any any time now. It's my my boyfriend. He's a dark guy. I love him. Got a great ass. Fuck yeah. Yeah. If yeah. you like it, why not? You know? <laughs> but don't do it in, in the show, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> but, no, no. but you now in 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 the in the in the, in the office, right? Of the 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 old, you know, the original uh, Gigi Jen. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting on the coffee table right now in the in the in, in the old shop. 
Like, yeah, when, when you guys are listening to this or watching it, we are in the new shop and we're going to do some amazing things there as well. We can do some crazy cool live streaming there. It's a, it's a, it's a big location, man. It's, it's awesome, going to be man. fucking nice. We can do a lot of, uh, of the, from that, uh, that building. It's going to be nice, man. I think we, when everything is go on, we have to do like, uh, maybe like, uh, people do like a special home violence tattoo day. And yeah, man. And make a party. Yeah, man. Fuck yeah. Because man. after yeah. announce it, the world's first Hope of Violence original logo tattoo is 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 done at Specker's G's and Gent, man. Fuck yeah, man. That and was my dope. friend Tim, who has it, he's from the Detroit, USA, man. Yeah. He did was the first. So yeah, man. It's legendary shit. Oh great. Uh, also, Stain is doing tattoo at your shop, right? Yeah, yeah. He's working like uh, one one or two days a week in the shop, uh, doing his uh, like his own designs and. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's fucking cool what he's doing. Like, his own fan base are really into his designs because he's also a graffiti artist, right? Uh, like, he, before he started his music career, he was, like, a really high hitter in Utrecht, uh, like, in his graffiti. Mm -hmm. And um, when I started the shop, uh, it was, like, shortly after we finished this album, what I did with him. And I said, yeah, come on. I, I actually had a studio in the shop as well in the beginning. I said, yeah, Easy. come on. Yeah, man. I said, come work at my shop because he was working as a uh, telephone marketing guy like two days in a week. I said, fuck that shit, man. I teach you. We do some crazy designing. And like he actually helped me uh, uh, building my name in the beginning as well because yeah. because of his following. He's got like really true troopers, man. Mm -hmm. I love that shit. And, and because of that, uh, yeah, we, we, in the beginning, we started really good and, 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 and start to get well known. And, and, yeah, thank you for that, man. Staying, fuck yeah, shout out to yeah, you but, as well. But that's awesome to people who hear that, you know, from your, you know, staying. If you listen to the show, you know, all the credits, man. Yeah, man. Not all the credits, fuck not, course, not all the credits. A little bit, of course. You got a <laughs> It's a spec of show, right? Actually, in the, in the beginning, people thought that Stain was the owner. <laughs> really? Yeah, and I keep it like that. I said, yeah, it's oh, do you work at Stain shop, right? I said, yeah, yeah, I work at Stain shop. I don't give a fuck as long well, as they know it. Hey. All the gangs is going to him, man. You yeah, said you're not a target. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, audience, this goes cigarette number five. Yeah, man, I, I smoke. I'm yeah. sorry. Oh, There's really no man. kids watching, right? Okay, but uh, the thing about producing hip hop, you know, yeah. all right, we talked about it in the beginning of the show. Mm -hmm. Just suddenly doing beats, you, you have some talents, man. You have really talents, people, but you stop doing producing hip hop beats because. I think the hip-hop in Holland needs some good beats again, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what it is, um, like, like I, 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 I'm not 20 anymore, right? And I need to think about my, uh, uh, how do you say it? You balance, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Well, I, 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 can, I can tell you one thing. I had a conversation with Steph. He's also on the Infected Records label. It's a really talented rapper from Rotterdam. And he was like, Spec. How the fuck are you doing this, man? You 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 wearing crazy watches, you driving crazy cars, bikes. See, you see, it affects people. You influence people, right? Of course, of course. See. So 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 he asked me, how do you do that? I said, fam, listen up. The first day I quit making music, I was making money. <laughs> the first Whoa. day I was quitting oh music, my God. I make money. This is re this is stinky stuff, man. Stinky stuff, man. So fuck people do stop making music and then you make money. Music, man. Fuck that make money. Man. <laughs> you, know, you know okay maybe I, i've stopped making music and dj i do more podcast shows man you know yeah, yeah. gary pays you ten thousand grand for each show so it's all right oh, man. Shit. what is the cut by the way the cut is uh, 25 your, percent, right one hour of fame that's your cut <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay spec other thing yeah you don't have uh, big grills i miss a grill or, or in your mouth man big I, I have grills yeah I have grills, but I think they, they, they ah, that fits. It's annoying, man. You, yeah. you talk like a retard, like uh, uh. <laughs> no, man. I, I I actually did some shows with Stain, and then I was wearing like crazy grills and shit. And uh, in the beginning, I liked it, but right now, nah, man. I've got some 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 tubes, yeah, some tubes. That's it. The grills are not for me. I see some slob between it, man. Yeah, that's for the last night. No, there's some. Oh, shit. No, some some hair. I see some hair. Yes, pubes from Jay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, but Jake is your, your tattoo artist, right? Yeah, he's uh, one of the artists that's working in my shop. And he yeah. has also a really good MC voice, man. Uh, yeah, it was, it was fun, this, yeah. I've been this in the show, man. So promoters, if you want to find a, you know, a good MC, he only do uh, just announcement and uh, and the end show, and he's gone. But uh, yeah, you should yeah. book him, man. Yeah, man. 
25 grand, you got it. It's easy. Yeah. Main stays hard for <laughs> some of them. All right. You did also uh, hair cutting, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that, that was a part of my journey as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, uh, it was it was like this. A friend of mine, well, he used to be a friend of mine. Used uh, to be. <laughs> like everybody. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye, Specker. He's a dick, eh? uh, I'm not home anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he, he used to work in, a, in like, a famous uh, barbershop in Rotterdam, and uh, he was quitting there, and he was searching for a spot to do his cutting, right? So I said, yeah, I got some, got, got some space available in my shop. Maybe we can make, a, like, a small corner, like a barber corner and shit. That could be dope. So he, he did it, and, like, I, I, I'm going to tell you honestly, people, most of the time doing on Instagram my thing, that's the only thing I do all fucking day, man. So, yeah, I was in the morning, I was done with my things. I did my administrations, my paperwork, my promotions, and I was done. And I was looking at this guy cutting his hair, and it was, like, really cool. And I said, yo, Bobby, I've, I've, I have a lot of free time. Can you teach me? He said, yeah, sure, let's do this. So, Just so hold hands, just hold hands. Yeah, I did, like, the, 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 gabber, the gabber cuts and shit, right? Yeah, yeah, we actually, we, I actually cut a couple of times at Thunder Dome and the Thunder Dome die hard days and shit. We cut hair there. We, we have the Gabber Copper. <laughs> the Gabber Copper. I did but, but Gabber Cut is just, just bold, right? It's easy. Yeah, <laughs> bold or like fades and can you, make it lo- can you make it longer with people asking, I want longer hair? Extensions? Sure. sure. Gabber, why don't you do Gabber ex- extensions? Gabber extensions. <laughs> Next year on Thunder Dome, yeah. We're going to do gallery extensions. Come hit me up for the gallery extension. Dreadlocks out of your asshole. I got you. Uh, we only use human hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From India. Oh, no. <laughs> From India. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. That's so bad. I know. But, but it's funny, man. It's crazy, man. This all everything like uh, from uh, hair cutting, tattooing, uh, producing, well, DJing. What do you like can... the most, actually? The, what of I, course, I not the most. That makes money, but you you would prefer to do for d- DJing as fun for fun. Like yeah, yeah, fun? I'm still doing it. I, I have some. I have I have my gear in my house, and like like in the evening, I smoke a small joint and play some tunes, do some mixings, and it's, it's for, right now it's for for relaxation. It's 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 mm-hmm. because I, I love I love listening to music. I love making music. Um, so yeah, I, I I never gonna quit that. But it's more like a, on a on a hobby level right now because. It's it's a time thing, man. I, I I'm only one spec. If I had six specs, bam, I was a millionaire right now. But I I, I cannot do that. But you're a billionaire already, man. So a millionaire is not even worthy to be. You're right. Okay, but uh, how do you came to the main specker, man? It's, it's spec is like a bird, right? It's spec. Spec? No, it's uh, it's like bacon. Fuck <laughs> that shit. You know, you know, yeah, flash dance. Yeah. Flashdance, you know the, the movie yeah, Flashdance. Kevin Bacon, that's me, motherfuckers. <laughs> Flashdance, I do the dance. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, maybe this is a personal one. Um, uh, your family, do, you have, of course, your family, right? Or you, yeah. you're not born in a stone, right? So. No, no, I, I've, I've, I have a lovely family. I have, uh, I have uh, really cool parents. I have uh, sisters, brothers, like, uh, and they have kids and. And I, I'm a really family man. I, on my free Sunday, I like to spend uh, my time in, with the family in the garden of my mother's house. My mother have a really crazy garden. She's still living in a uh, POP. Pop, yeah, Pop, I saw some pictures. I think she, she, she lives be, uh, which Chopinstraat behind? Or? No, uh, Menesonplein. Menesonplein, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hong Kong. Man, that plane, man. Remember we did uh, fishing in the car? Yeah, man. man yeah, that plane is so fucking dirty now, man. Back yeah. In the days. No, well, they actually fix it a little. Eh? You can play there. You have like a basketball court. Only uh, you cannot fish there because all fish is dead there. Man, uh, 20 years ago we did fishing at big carps, you know. I think all those fish ended up in your fish and rice, right? <laughs> no, my dad every night, you know, after 10 o'clock, <laughs> we got 50 carps and, and then we, we sold them for satay, you know. People didn't know that. It was fucking fish. It was yeah, not man. easy to eat. Good scam, anyway, man. You have to do something, man, to make it happen. Of course, man. You ask but, but the thing is, like, do you also tattoo your families? Your, your yeah, 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 definitely. My sister and my uh, my brother-in-law, she, they, uh, they they got tatted up. And, like, yeah, they got some really nice tats. Uh, and my, my little niece, she's going to be uh, she's gonna be five now in, in a couple of weeks. And yeah. she loves it. She's so proud of her uncle. She said, yeah, 
my uncle was famous and uh, he's a millionaire and I want to be a tattoo artist as well. I'm going to have a big ass pony on my cheeks. And oh my gosh. And she's cute as fuck, man. Yeah, man. Uh, little, little Lily. I love her, man. But this is cool. also if people come uh, like, a, like a young kid, 16 years old, well, is, is, is there a limitation in, in age? Well, officially by law in the Netherlands, you can get a tattoo. Uh, starting from 12 years old. With permission of your parents, you can get a tattoo from 12 years old. We don't do that in our shop because, oh. no, nah, man, I don't stand behind that. Um, you can get a tattoo in our shop uh, from six uh, from 16, but then I need uh, a parent with you or, or a, a guardian or something. I, uh, I need the permission of them uh, till 18. And from 18, you can do whatever the fuck you like. But if you come in my shop and you are 18 years old and you, you want to have like a crazy face tattoo... I promise you, we won't do that. I, 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 I need to know what, what is your ideas about it, what you want to do in your future, what kind of job you want, do you want to be a spec? Then I say, okay, let's do, let's do this. But, <laughs> yeah, no, but that, that, that's, that's good to know because there, there's a lot of uh, people that uh, face tattoos wherever. Okay, yeah. man, uh, we fucking talked a lot about G's and Jens, so yeah, maybe people say, yeah, this is a promotion movie. No, it's no, not. No, no, it's, it's a lifestyle. Real, it's, it's my it's life. Real, it's a real story about Spec, and I have Thank to, you. you know, reveal this in the stinky show, show, man. Even he smoked too much. <laughs> I'm <laughs> but, close today. Yeah, normally when we open, I don't smoke in the shop. You're it's close today. It's your Monday. Yeah, it's Monday, man. We close oh, wow. Sunday and Monday. We have the day off. Sunday because of church, and Monday because of porn, and yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that's fair enough. This I was asking. Uh, is no, I don't hear the, the machine at the background. So. No, no. Uh, my like, like I used to be a uh, really tough boss, right? So I have them like eight days oh, a week boss? in the job. Whoa, I was a tough motherfucker. Yeah, like, like, like twenty-four hours a day tattooing. Like, like it's almost slavery. But nowadays it's not possible anymore. So uh, I give them weekends, like Sunday, and Monday off, and they're really grateful. And yeah. Yeah, but slavery is not a bad word actually because the whole world built on slavery. Yeah, man. Thank you guys for that. Right, USA? <laughs> yeah. What, what do you think about Egypt, man? Man, of course. We, like, oh, no, no, we, we, we promised not no, to talk no, about no, politics. No. Let's no, skip this shit, man. Of course, no. Skip politics. Beep, beep, beep. beep, beep. Okay, man. Uh, the last 20 minutes, I want to ask you something. Uh, I ask you something, uh, this or that, and then mm -hmm. you react. And, uh, or, you, or, we, or you don't like the question, and we go on. Yeah? I'm okay. My first question. G's, G's and Jens or Dutch Inc? Oh, what the fuck is that for a weird question, man? G's and Jens all day, fam. What the all day, 24 hours a day. Fuck, fuck Dutch Inc, man. If you, if you want to go to a commercial business where you get ripped off go there they have time enough they have like 20 slaves over there they got you if you want some quality tattoos and have a, like a real tattoo experience with real artists i got you come at my shop man <laughs> fuck what's a question man dutch fucking ink man dutch thing fuck off man but you you're not uh, close with them anyway some kind well, of way I, I, I'm gonna explain a little because this 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 sounds a little harsh for me. Because you know why I have to ask it because you live in Vlaardingen. Yeah. And they are located in Vlaardingen. Yeah. And that's fascinated me how because I, yeah I just I just want to know it's not like uh, I just want to know what your no, but I'm gonna explain it a little. It's because like it's not that I hate all other shops than uh, than G's and Gents right. I I I I I I have a lot of like actual, actual, actual brothers in the tattoo scene who has own shops, even in my own, in, in my own city where I'm operating, right? In Den Haag, I got some friends and also have shops. We are a community. But what I really love is, is real tattoo lifestyle. And Dutch Inc. has nothing to do with a tattoo lifestyle. It's a money factory. And I like making money, but I, 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 I prefer having cool tattoos because if, I, if, if money was more important for me, we were a really expensive shop and we aren't. Our quality is really high and our prices are really low. That's because I, I think everybody deserves a quality tattoo. If you are rich or poor, it doesn't matter. You earn, you, you deserve a quality tattoo. And I love tattoo. And Dutch Inc. has nothing to do with the love of tattoo. It's a factory. And I don't like that. Cool, man. Perfect. Okay, next question. Yes. Stain or little, 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 what's the rap? With the One of the little guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of guys. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? The rapper, li li little little pump, little little peep, little no, the Dutch peep. guy, the Dutch guy. <laughs> little li oh, uh, little I thought you the name. Crazy. Little Kleine. <laughs> yeah, stay on little Kleine. 
<laughs> day in all day, man. Come on, infected, infected. Infected. But I, I must say, I, I really have respect for this little guy's hustle, man. Come on. Yeah, man. He's a little guy, he's a shitty rapper, and he's a fucking multimillionaire. Fuck yeah, yeah I respect the hustle, man. Yeah, yeah, well, but, yeah well, but that's the thing, man. Still in Holland, man. Last five years, hip hoppers, they go, they, they follow the USA guys, man. Big cars, yeah. big, big, everything big, man. Yeah. Yeah, look, look at, you saw the documentary about Boof. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Man, I tell you about Boof. Maybe uh, I work. Uh, I was working still in The Hague uh, four years ago, mm -hmm. and I watching the first Boof clip. You know, he did. You know, the old school stuff. You know, with, yeah, yeah. With the, all these uh, Moro kids and downstairs on an in yeah. his hood. You know. Yeah. Man, I told the guys, man, this guy, if he blows up, he's gonna be huge, man. And all my colleagues say, ah, this guy, man, is nothing. But yeah. Let's see what happens, man. So, yeah, we had to sit. We, I saw it staying in the in the studio, and we saw him in the beginning. And they actually meet up and, and, and trade some merchandise with each other and, and, from, and, and pushing each other. And we already say it back then, from, oh my God, this guy, or it's going to be nothing, or yeah. he's going to be really fucking big. And yeah, he proved it. He's, 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 he's the, the richest Dutch rapper of all time. He has more money than his boss, Ali B. <laughs> oh man, you revealed a lot, man, this show. But that yeah, is true, man. It's cool. Yeah. yeah, man. Okay, this will be a good question. Okay. Rap, rap music mm -hmm. or hardcore music? Um, well, like, like, like on a regular day, I always prefer rap music, man, because I can listen it all day. But if I'm in a kind of mood or it's weekend, come on, man, we need to oh, kill those hardcore beats, man. And what you are doing lately, like combining it, I love that shit, man. I keep on doing that because I love every everything you do with that that combination man it's fucking yeah, amazing man. i love it honestly i like hip-hop a lot because i start from the hip-hop and yeah then that came the hardcore beats you know and now after many fucking years i can make music combine them and yeah but it's yeah, good, I, think, man. I, I, I think hardcore in the beginning already was like always like have, have, have always have like rap samples and, always and, yeah yeah man the biggest hits have like the and, Crazy rap samples in it, man. Yeah, but that's the funny thing. If you talk to a real gap and say, yeah, I don't like this uh, blah, 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 music, hip hop music. But at the end, they listen to the hip hop samples where they're killing it. Screaming right? it word by word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, man, dope. Okay, cool. Okay, other question. Yeah. Smoking uh, or drinking? Smoking, man. Smoking. Smoking <laughs> weed, smoking cigarettes, smoking crack. <laughs> yeah, man, smoking. Oh, look who's here, man. This is my boy. Who's this? The Y to the A to the E. Oh, man, hey. man. This is, this is Holland's hey, most talent. Yo, what's up, Gene? Yo. Oh, come, come take a chair, man. Sit next yes. to us. Yeah, man. Welcome. Uh, Jay. Yo, Gene. Yo, yo, okay, I can, okay, for the, all the audience, uh, Jay, Jay, right? This is Jay? Yeah, yeah, Jay. Jay is a uh, talented tattooist. He worked for Specker. Yeah, man. But they also uh, do some dirty business at the night, you know. I don't know what, but uh, <laughs> everything has to be done, you know. He's Hustling. a private dancer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a luxury I, dancer. But yeah. he works on a, on a really luxury nightclub in, uh, in Amsterdam, you know. Yeah. But it's only, only for VIP. So I, I only VIPs can get in, yeah. I like that normal to... people won't ever see him, you know. No, you have to get celebrities to get in to see me strip, you know. <laughs> My yeah, purple, my purple thumb, it doesn't come for free. <laughs> and of course, you have the kind of uh, special call of your credit card, you know. Only the black ones are allowed. Black, <laughs> black, 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 black cards matter. Black cards matter. Bro. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the real thing. People, there's some credit cards in the world if you have a special color. If you have those, man, you're one of the G's, right? Yeah, you want to be like a see me strip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you doing, man? How are you daily? You, I'm you good, chilling? man. This morning, wide awake, fresh and funky. That's how we're going to go. This is Monday, Monday vibes, you know? Yes, yeah, but, but cool, man. I just asked Spec about questions, you know, about things. And yeah. uh, he just, uh, yeah, he just talked a lot of shit of us today, so. Yeah, it's morning. <laughs> yeah, it's morning. A lot of okay, shit. Okay, I, 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 yeah, I got a good question for you, maybe, man. Go for it. Uh, UK or the Holland? Ah, man. I'm going to say Holland. Uh, All right. But to be fair, I haven't lived in the UK for 15 years, but I haven't gone back to 15 years either for a reason. You know, this UK is good for uh, it's for buzz, for buzzing and creating a buzz about culture and stuff like that. Yeah, it's good for that kind of stuff. But lifestyle and living, it's a it's a concrete jungle. It's not a. Um... You're from the London area, or? Yeah, yeah, I'm from Hackney, man. Damn. Hackney. 
Acne, crack acne. <laughs> acne. Honestly, if you go on YouTube, you see like, you know, uh, London rap, you know, gangster rap, you know. There's a lot oh, of grime. kids, man. grime stuff. Yeah, man. The other question. What do you think about UK, UK hip-hop or USA hip-hop these days? These days? Well, yeah, I yeah, like this. actually these be, days. You've got to be very careful with this because, you know, in America, they only have hip-hop, right? Yeah. And maybe rap, rap kind of falls under hip-hop and trap still falls under hip-hop. But in the UK... You have hip hop, and then you have grime, yeah, yeah, man. and then you have drill, drill. Yeah. All right. So now drill, level, level, right? Yeah, exactly. Because like hip hop, hip hop in the UK is like um, uh, it's mainstream. Come on. Yeah, hip hop in the UK is not it's mainstream. Not, not, not yeah. so much. Not so much actually. Because you got to think about the the hip hop people in the UK still try and keep it quite underground. Yeah. yeah but the yeah. grime scene, the drill scene, is what's becoming very mainstream. I mean, Thanks to Stormzy and, yeah. and uh, Wiley, and, Wiley and some of the old school Skepta, yeah. <clears throat> Skepta. Yeah, but the Skepta, they start in the underground, right? Yeah, they yeah, all started in the Yeah, I grew up with Skepta and those guys, man. They're, they're, they're from the same areas. Uh, Indy, man. And it's crazy to see the energy that they respect that they get now from, you know, they haven't stopped doing what they're doing, like with anything. You know, they just waited and waited and waited and drilled and put well, the you know. That was funny, but, but yeah, suddenly Jay came in, we started talk about talk about rap, that's good. Uh, can you remember Derek B back in the days? Derek B? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Remember? He said it was a lyric like, uh, we're not paid in dollars, we paid in pounds. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, because that lyrics always keep me in mind. And you, back in the days, we had Silver Bullet, you remember? Silver Bullet? Silver Bullet. I've got to refresh my mind on that. Yeah, names, names come in no, time or something. It's a 26 to comply, the track. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, of course. Of course. Yeah, the old school yeah. UK, UK rap, man. Yeah, yeah, the old school UK rap was cool. Yeah, Champions of Nature was a really cool um, group back in the day. Champions of Nature, they were they were on, they were touring. But it's crazy now because of, I think, social media. It's yeah. really reducing it's so much stuff. Really crazy. Because these guys that you see now, Skepta and everybody, even Brian and Hip Hop, they've been touring from back in the day. They've been going to Europe. They've been coming to Amsterdam. They've been coming to Germany. They've been doing all these tours. But... It, They've been setting up the venues in small places, but now because of social media, you know, they can set up bigger places. They can, uh, you know, yeah. people from different genres can flex and come and, come and hang out. I think yeah, it's dope. Yeah, kept us really cooling off for the last five years. Sure. Yeah, but, yeah, but I think it's dope in general. I think the music is coming together. I mean, I, I, but, but, but to, to answer the question, I think nowadays, right now, in this moment, I, 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 I feel I have more with the UK. A rap thing like the like the like the the grime and the drill than than the US thing. I think the US thing is is, is a little slacking. It's it's, it's yeah, a really yeah. easy yeah exactly yeah. easy formulas and like hit formulas and mm -hmm. and and in the in the UK uh, grime there are like real stories. You believe them what they and, and I think yeah, with hip hop that's ends. important, right? Yeah. yeah. They talk about the ends in the UK. You know, you relate a lot more. Yeah. Especially if you're in Europe as well. You know. You yeah. No, I'm I'm really the last years I'm a big hip hop uh, fan from the 80s. Yeah. Yeah, I'm look 25, but I'm a bit older, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you go to the same doctor as me, right? We're for the Botox. Yeah, no, no, I got I got a big face tattoo, you know, one yellow. <laughs> yeah, you look you look you look a little Chinese now, man. Yeah, yeah, what's going on, bro? <laughs> yeah, on a, my story. I'm I'm actually from Colombia, man. I know, but it's all the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Sosa, okay. right? <laughs> okay, then what? Yeah, I, I'm agree, man. UK uh, hip hop is really it yeah. get get more energy, you know, because the the the. Yeah, USA has a long history, and I like old school hip hop and the new school hip hop. Uh, yeah, but of course, Suicide Boys, I like that kind of style. Of course, yeah, like like the, 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 the emo Florida. style is cool. The emo style is good. Yeah, yeah, it's like the, the the Florida yeah. hype, man, and that's that's like 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 uh, Puya, uh, yes, Ghost yes. Main, uh, Suicide Boys, uh, go on and go on. Yeah, man, the, the, those do. The, yeah, they do a little different things, and uh, yeah, man, I like that as well. I, I think it's really good, but it's also it's more real than like uh, like I, I like uh, uh, the Migos or something or uh, like like that kind of. I like it because it's funny. They over uh, they had to talk about money and look at me. I, I like it, but it's really easy to chew. So after two three days listening to those tracks, I'm done with it. And I, if I'm listening to a, like a Ghost Man or a Puya or a Suicide Boys, I, I, I can listen to, to all year to that because it's more real, right? Cool. Okay, the other question, maybe this one. Uh, Travis Scott or Dr. Dre? Do Dr. Dr. Dre, Dre, man. Come on. <laughs> Dr. Dre. Westside. Come on, man. But all of it, the Travis is good, man. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's, it's, 
Yeah, it's not real hip hop. He does, I think, it's, it's rock hip hop. It's it's different. It's 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 really it's just pop music. I think. Yeah, right? I, 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 would, like, I wouldn't yeah. say that. I say yeah. you know, rock star. Yeah, it's a rock star. Yeah, man. You know, you hear a lot of the hip hop new guys coming up and yeah, say, "No, yeah. we're not hip hop artists. We're not rap artists. Yeah, we're rock yeah. stars." And you can actually see relate to how they're living because if you look at the rock stars, how they're living, it's like the new uh, Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, that guy's like working hard, man. Stones all in one guy. You know. It's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. He's doing True. it. His hip hop beats are not a total. It's a total package. Okay. Yeah, but it's funny. Uh, sooner or later, I've, I'm nearly finished a new track. I, I sent a lot of Travis Scott, man. It's crazy. I will show you That's guys later. Really, yeah, but his athletes are amazing. And yeah, but this, his whole, yeah. whole, whole whole image, what he builds, is crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But also, also, it's it's also fashion. It's 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 oh. also like a lifestyle, right? And that's He's what so I really smart, like. Man. Yeah. But all these brands are really like him. Like, oh, we want to attach to Travis Scott because yeah, yeah, like the Nike shoes with him, they are they're crazy right now, man. They're, 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 What's the fifteen hundred dollars for the the the, the yeah. SBs from SBs Travis, Travis Scott? Scott. Yeah, fuck yeah, I love that. You're doing good, this. Okay, we made it close to the end of the show, but I want to ask you something. Are you guys do make music in the future or maybe do a new label like GG Gant's label? Yeah, we're going to talk later about this. We're going we're gonna to talk later. We, we, yeah, we, 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 after we did the radio show, of the, the live stream, right? We were like, yeah, we were like really hyping on that. We were like vibing on that. That was cool, man. Yeah. And we should do these things more often. Yeah. So, and not, not like really big and did that. No, but, but we just do something. It, it has some special, you know, like on the festival, or something out of exactly. thing. It has something, yeah, geez, you know, some games. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I got a Tinder match, man. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna get tricky tonight. Yes. All right. It's I live Tinder. You to answer your question, <laughs> we, we we talked about it, and we're gonna we got we definitely gonna do something. Yeah, we, we are planning something. something. We're something gonna make about. some tracks probably. And uh, maybe next year you're gonna see us in a festival for a couple of minutes doing some crazy shit. Fuck yeah, we're done for that. Let's do this. Why not? Okay, I got uh, one question. Uh, maybe a good one, maybe a shit one. Uh, happy or poor? Happy or poor? No, what? I have to, not poor, I have to have happy or rich. That's happy or rich? I think happy. And and, and, and you, you won't, ex- uh, won't think that of me because I'm filthy rich. <laughs> no, no, that's, <laughs> that's what I want to hear. <laughs> but, but. No, I think like happy to be happy is the most important thing, man. And and, and money, it, it makes a lot easy, but yeah. it, do, it doesn't make you happy, man. You can be really lonely with a shitload of money, and being being lonely is not cool. Man. I don't know, because if you're rich, you can buy happiness. You know, no, it's bullshit. I tried it. I tried <laughs> it. But we don't know about rich. Rich is rich, rich. You know, this yeah. is rich. This Put is FJ in it. Yeah. You don't have to do worry about anything in your life. Your family's set up. You know, with money, you set your family. Wow. Happiness I there. Think, I happiness think a better there. question will be uh, healthy or rich. Healthy, healthy. I think that's better than happy. Healthy, happy. Healthy. I think that's the most important thing. And and like for for the people who thinks money makes you happy, it's it's bullshit, man. I tried it, and it's not true. It makes a lot. Of things easy and you can do a lot of things and, and it buys you some freedom that's true but it doesn't buy you happiness man it, you cannot get it if you, it, you no man you can get you can be filthy rich and be really unhappy and that's shit <laughs> yeah man. It's, good, man it's so serious now at the end of the show okay guys do you have something to say in the future and we're gonna reflect yeah good morning good morning whoever's watching good morning good evening good afternoon wherever you are in the world okay um, Good energy, good vibes, no matter what's going on in your life. The world is crazy, but you don't have to be crazy too. Wow. Easy, awesome, awesome. I have nothing to say. Yeah. yeah, just say about, yeah, we have a couple of minutes left, so drop some shit. Yeah, uh, <laughs> drop some shit. Well, first of all, uh, follow the G's and Gents page, follow the Specker page if you want some more crazy shit, because I try to filter it a little bit, because I was too crazy on the G's and Gents page. Uh, follow Where's Panda? Where's Panda? Panda? Where the fuck is Panda? You gotta follow Where's Panda on Instagram. He's right here. Yeah, I'm you take a picture of me with Panda. But what, yeah, what the fuck is about the Panda thing? Is this special? It's or? just good energy, man. It's about uh, creating good energy, you know. The, the, the creature Panda, right? Yeah, the Panda is all about yeah, good cool. energy, good vibes, you know. Peace. I've, I've thought about, you know, you, you t- tattoo a lot of crazy stuff over years, and some of the stuff ended up being really negative. Or I got one question, okay. suddenly. Did you guys ever tattoo? Someone from Hong Kong or Chinese people? No, actually, yeah, man. I, oh, I got some letters here. This was really cool. There was a, a a couple from Hong Kong, 
and they went to uh, they, they 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 were going to visit uh, what was the, the festival Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland. It was last year. And so they emailed me, it was a cool couple, and they said, yeah, we want to have the logo of Tomorrowland, and uh, can, I, can we do that at Jeez and Jen? So I said, yeah, but I need, I need a deposit, because, yeah, for making an appointment, I need a deposit. They said, yeah, I cannot write you some money, but I can send you some money. So I get, like, 50 euros, a bill of 50 euros, sent from Hong Kong, with Hong Kong stamps on it and shit, and oh, I wow. saved it. And I saved the 50 as well in the, in the envelope, and I framed it. It's fucking nice, man. People from Hong awesome. Kong are connected. Yeah, man. Shout out to you guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, geez. But yeah, have you thought about go do something in, in, in Asia with Jason and Jens? No, no. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, we, wanna, we, we, we actually want to do some tourings as well, like tattoo tourings. Uh, so, so like uh, shops where we are really connected with. Uh, we're going to visit them and do some guest spotting there. We could probably next year in the summer. So we do like, uh, I got a lot of friends uh, in, in, in other countries. So Mexico, I, I, I mentioned LA already. But we also want to do some Asia things. Uh, Curaçao, I'm working on a shop in Curaçao as well. My own shop that's, in Curaçao. That's not Asia, right? <laughs> no, but there are, there, are, there are a lot of uh, dark Asians there. <laughs> well, I, 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 I changed my money and, and a Chinese guy. And when I come to Curaçao, there's one Chinese guy. I give him my euros. He give me my guilders. If you go to Curaçao, don't pay with dollars. Pay with guildens. You got health price of everything. Do you still have guildens? <laughs> yeah, man. Dutch guildens, man. Fuck yeah. I love that shit. Yeah, man. Crazy. Okay. And, I, and I changed my money with a Chinese guy over there. He's my friend. Fuck yeah. Shout out to you as well, man. <laughs> money counter. Okay, what are you guys going to do now? It's 10 o'clock. Uh, it's 11 o'clock. You're chilling? It's 11, 11 o'clock. Now it's time to get active. I guess I'm going to go and be the most active I can be. So that's nothing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm probably gonna smoke a joint, wash my bike, and do some Harley riding this afternoon. I think. Yeah. Sure. And then do some Instagram. Yeah, yeah. For all day, I'm Instagram. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for an Insta Daddy, uh, by the way. So if you think you are a good Insta Daddy, so you give me like pocket money and make pictures of me all day, you can send me an email or a DM to G's and Gents, and you can apply for that job, man. Be my Insta Daddy. Fuck yeah, okay. sugar daddy, Insta Daddy, all in the same time, man. Okay, guys, honestly, superb. Specker, yeah, I think we revealed a lot of your, you know, the existence of Specker. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks for joining up, man. Peace, man. I think, uh, I think the, yeah, the music thing you guys should do in the future yeah. when you have time. Yeah, uh, good luck with the shop. I'll thanks. Shop to visit you guys. And I really want you guys, uh, when you have time, uh, do a live stream, maybe from off the new shop. On the yeah, let's Islands, do that. Uh, HKV stream. Yeah, yeah fun. We can, invite some, some, we can invite some listeners. Maybe some listeners can contact you. We have like a small amount of spots. You can join us at the live yeah. stream, have a party, have a drink. Fuck okay, yeah, let's make it a fun time, man. Just make fun. At the end, you know, it's all about the promotion, right? Exactly. Prospect, yeah. Prospect Radio for the time. Shout Thanks out to Prospect Radio. Thanks to Jay. Prospect Thanks Radio. Thanks for everybody fucking thing. And only thing, what's matter? What's, what's matter in this life? Westside. Westside. <laughs> Not flooding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. See, I gotta press stop. See you yeah, next time, well. man. Chill out. Ciao. Bye. Bye.